the download tab. Controller firmware downloads. Firmware versions that are presently released. Beta updates or trial software for testing minor bug fixes. Downloading software. The controller comes from the factory with software already installed. If directed by Navitas to download an update, here are the steps. Go to the download page and choose the newest version of software for your model slash motor listed from the top of the page. Note there are also beta firmware updates available if instructed by Navitas Engineering. You will see a warning screen to confirm yes to download. A few messages will show and then a progress bar will follow. The downloads usually take three to four minutes depending on the connection. Make sure you align the phone within one meter of the controller and do not move the phone or use the phone in any way until the download completes. Note the controller may become permanently disabled if the phone loses connection to the controller during the download. For the TAC controllers, you will have to exit the app and restart the app and reconnect. That's not necessary on the TSX. Reconnect to your app. Usually after downloading on a TAC controller, you'll see a caution sign at the top telling you the parameter table is not initialized. Go to the settings screen to clear it up. At the bottom of the settings screen you'll see the initialize, confirm that, save to save it permanently to the controller. This step's not necessary on the TSX software.